We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the New York Yankees and the Milwaukee Brewers. Coming to the plate now, Gio Urshela. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The three and one pitch is in there for the second strike. Back up the middle, and this will find its way into center field for a leadoff single. The first baseman, Luke. Stepping in now, Luke Voigt. Into center field, line drive base hit. Batting third, the second baseman. Into the box now, DJ LeMayhew. High in the air out to center field. Kane is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Two on here with one man out. And that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. Urshela at second. Voigt at first. One gone. To two and two now. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Fouled away. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Bases are loaded with only one out. Hit sharply on the ground. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. At the plate, Lorenzo Kane. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. No contact there, and it's one and two. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Throw on to first, in time, one away. Here's Brock Holt now. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. And the pitch. Line toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. In now, Christian Yelich. High in the air out to center field. Hicks is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And into the plate steps Keston Hura. Tanaka pauses. Here it is on two and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Digging in now for the Brewers, Omar Narvaez. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. The set and the 1 1. No, Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Looking up is Hicks, and it's gone. Standing in now, Avisail Garcia. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. Oh. 
And that'll bring up Gleyber Torres. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Still a ball and two strikes. Look out. Oh. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Full count. Three and two. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. And he fouls this one off. The 3 2, one more time. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes seven, out after a long battle here. Aaron. Cool. Now the one and one pitch. Grounded to third. Over to smoke at first and there are two away. Digging in now for the Yankees. Gary Sanchez in his career against Brent Anderson. He's just one for six. And that misses two and one. Two one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three and one now as that misses down and in. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Slow little grounder left side. Throw on to smoke at first and the side is retired. Settling in now, Eric Sogard. He set to lead off the home half of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Popped him up. Torres in foul ground. And that's the first out of the inning. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Justin Smoke batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. The 3 1. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Next for Milwaukee, Brett Anderson. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. And into hit next is Lorenzo Kane. Runner in scoring position with two down. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And a full count to Kane. Three balls and two strikes. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four according to Woody Keller. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Brock Holt. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. One and two. Here it is. Hit back toward the mound. Scooped up. And the throw is right there at first. Oh, a fine off-balance play up the middle may have saved two runs, and the inning is over. Top of the third set to get underway. So now the pitcher for the Yankees, Masahiro Tanaka. The 1-1 home. I don't know if that was discipline or whether he's just not swinging the bat at all, but hey, at least he's making the pitcher throw a few more pitches. Just hung in there on that one. The 
2 2 one more time. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. A base hit in his first trip. Bases are empty, one man out. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Hit out towards second. Right to him. On to first, and it's a fine start to the inning for Anderson. Two away now. Next for New York, Luke Voigt. One for one after a single this first time up. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, one and two now. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Stepping into the box, Christian Yelich. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Throw, and he's called out on a close play at first. Now back. Striding forward now, the Brewers cleanup hitter, Keston Hiura. He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. Hard hit ball to second. Well, Mayhew's got it. And there's out number two. Now to the plate, Omar Narvaez. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger, and the side is retired. set for the start of the fourth and that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box flied out in his first at bat so make him 0 for 1 so far ground ball sent back up the middle reined in and the off balance throw beats him at first and that's a tough play so the bases are empty with one man gone and that will bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year Big Aaron Judge Well hit to right, but that's a foul ball. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Line drive base hit. And this one bounds around against the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. At the plate, Giancarlo Stanton hit to third. Sogard is there, and there are two away now. Standing in, Torres comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. The 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on 3-2 and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So here's Avisail Garcia. The 2-1 home is taken for strike two. Two two pitches fouled away. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. 
Down is full. Three two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Stanton has a read on it. One away. Here's Eric Sogard. Third baseman. Eric Sogard. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Now the three and two pitch. Gets him looking up around the letters. Stepping up now, Justin Smoke. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Now the one and one pitch. Misses for the second ball. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Tanaka's ready. Here's the pitch. Full count. Three balls, two strikes. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Brett Anderson. He successfully laid down a sack bunt in his last plate appearance. Yeah, Matty, a productive A.B. last time, no doubt. But here with two outs, let's see if he can... Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. Stepping in, Aaron Hicks. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. A bouncer up the middle. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. At the plate, Gary now Sanchez. Second, Gary Sanchez. A 1 1. Chopped up the line to first, but a foul ball. 1 and 2 the count now. And now pitch on the way. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Garcia has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. So digging in now, Masahiro Tanaka. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. He'll try again, one, two. Softly hit toward the hole. He's got it. And Smoke will take this one over to the bag, and the side is retired. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the center fielder, Lorenzo Kane. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back goes Stanton, still ranging back, and it's gone as they add still another. So now to the plate, Brock Holt. A little roller toward the hole. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the sweet swing and left-handed hitting outfielder, Christian Yelich. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Ready on one and two. Hit back 
break up the middle. Scooped up. And that's the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in at the plate steps Keston Hura. And the pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. That gets down and the inning continues. Jay Happ takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Into the box, Omar Narvaez. And it's one and two. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Two two is a changeup that misses three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Top half of the sixth about to get started. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Gio Urshela, one for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. At the plate, Luke Voigt, one for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. At the plate now, DJ LeMayhew. Grounded to the right. And that's through for this first base hit in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Into the box now, Aaron Judge. Here's a swing and a little tapper in front of the mound. Oh, and that all developed too late to get him at first. And now the bases are loaded here. Now that left field. Giancarlo. To the plate now, Giancarlo Stanton. This is flared out towards second. One there. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. So here is Avisayo Garcia. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. The third base Striding the in, seven. Eric Sogard, over okay. two on his line thus far. Sogard. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Now the three and two pitch. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Hicks is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Here's Justin Smoke now. The one two fouled off. That misses and we're even at two and two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Stanton will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move and that ends the inning.
Stepping into the box, Torres. And he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The batter. One gone here in the Yankee seventh, and that'll bring up the switch hitter Aaron Hicks. Now the 2 1 pitch. And that's off his leg on the mound. Safe after the recovery throw. Good effort, but now we have to wonder whether or not he's going to be okay. J.P. Fireisen will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Jed Jerko will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. There is Jerko. Now playing first base and batting nine. Number five, Jed Jerko. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Miguel at Duhar. A double play ball to second. Four, six, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Ben Heller gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 61. Here's Jed Jerko now. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Good late break to the slider. 87 on the gun there. It's one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And the pitch. Outside and a full count, three and two. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. The fielder, six. Standing in now, Lorenzo King. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Three and one now. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a three one count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in the zone, or do you just pitch around it? LeMay Hugh for one. Back to first, but it's right by him. And now, oh, this ball's going to wind up out of play. And a big mistake there. And this is popped up near second base. Urshela is there. Two down. Coming to the plate now, Christian Yelich. And he's over in this one, batting out of a three spot. Yelich. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. On a line, that's a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. Throw to second, but he's in there. As a run will score on the play as well. Now back, second baseman. Kester. At the plate, Keston Hiura. Two and one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here now the 2 2. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed strike three.
So the lineup flips over and digging in, Gio Urshela. He's working on a one for three thus far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. This is gathered in out there by Garcia for the first out. Digging in and looking for more. Luke Voigt. Last time through was a base hit. No runs, seven hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. A ball and two strikes now. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Kane is under it. Two down. So coming to the plate, DJ LeMayhew. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. On the ground to the right side. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. Into the box, Aaron Judge. Sliced hard on the ground. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now back, left fielder, Giancarlo. In now, Giancarlo Stanton. And he misses two and one. Two one. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. And this is taken here for ball four. Just the second walk he's allowed into his eighth oh, inning of work. Corey Knable answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Zach Britton will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Bottom of the inning now. Now in the box, Omar Narvaez. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. The 2-1 is taken, ball three. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2-0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eighth. Now batting. Digging in once again, Avisail Garcia. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. The 1-1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in the box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings. And that one completely tied him up. Torres scoops it up. There's one. Return throw not in time. And that turned into a closer play than I thought it would at first sight. Now that Stepping in, Eric Sogard. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The set and the 1-1 pitch. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Not what he wanted to do there with the slider as it misses well above the zone. Perhaps sensing he's going to look to first. 
And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Five runs, six hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Runners on the move for second. Hit and run was on, but this is a tapper out in front of the mound. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Ben Gamble will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 15, Ben Gamble. One and two now. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Gamel is slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good. Two balls and two strikes now. Hit in the air down the right field line, but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. He is swung on and missed strike three. Ladies Corbin Burns comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 39. Now at the plate, Aaron Hicks. He's working on a one for three thus far. The one one home takes a pitch for strike number two. A swing and a miss on the fastball, and there's the first out here in the ninth. Now batter. So striding forward now, Gary, Gary Sanchez. Sanchez. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. And he strikes him out as well. No, so make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Brett two out, nobody on. Three and one now to oh. Brett Gardner. It's Brett Anderson in line for the victory, barring a ninth inning collapse here. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. So now to the plate, Gio Urshela. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Hit on the ground to third. Sogard has it. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and both runners are going to be safe. Digging in, Luke Voigt. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Last chance for the Yankees. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. So the home crowd will have a pleasant drive home afterwards as their guys have taken the first two of this three-game series. A win tomorrow, and they can break out the brews. A 5-0 finish tonight. The Milwaukee Brewers jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Brett Anderson with his fourth win this season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Baskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. His record is now four and one. The loss goes to Masahiro Tanaka. His record is now four and four. Time of the ball game, two hours and 56 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.